First off, I'm still recovering from strep throat and having a very high fever and nausea, so this video is audio only. I just don't have the energy to be in front of the camera right now. If this video is incoherent at any point, I blame anyone but myself. Alright, so the season finale finally came, and there was 99.9% .9 good, and then that 0.1% just pissed us all off. Let's start with great things about this episode. While this isn't how they encountered Negan for the first time in the comics, the elaborate trap they set up in the show was very impressive, and it just made the savior seem that much more menacing. They're willing to go out of their way, invest tons of resources just to let you know who's in charge. The suspense and how it built and the fear you could see growing in Rick's group as they realized they were trapped was so well acted. And honestly, the acting for this entire episode was top notch. Every single actor in this episode brought their A game. I do have to say, one of my favorite lines to the first set of saviors was by Rick when he was telling them about how they can resolve it without killing any of them, and then he adds, killing any more of you. That just gave me BAMF Rick chills. Of course, the guy got the last laugh in this episode. I really appreciated all the character bonding we saw this episode, Rick putting Gabriel in charge of the defense, Gabriel promising Rick he will not fail him and he will take care of Judith and Rick trusting him. Despite trusting Gabriel with Judith before, this still felt like a huge moment between the two. Rick has come a long way from not even acknowledging him to putting him in charge of the defenses of Alexandria. But he may have done that because uh, Rick took almost every single good person with him while heading to Hilltop, but more on that later. Rick and Maggie's bonding moments were great. I absolutely loved when Rick told Maggie that this isn't it, there's going to be more. The love he has for his group and doing anything for them is amazing, even if sometimes that love makes them do questionable things or really terrifying things. And I think out of everyone in this episode, Rick's actor was the best. Andrew Lincoln just nailed everything from his talks to Maggie to talking to Gabriel, to just looking so distraught when he finds some of Michonne's dreadlocks, to the very end of the episode when you just see a complete breakdown of Rick where he's realizing, I am absolutely fucked, and he is terrified. Abraham and Eugene being besties and the Abraham giving him his pep talk about Eugene being a survivor was appreciated as well. The Eugene hug was just so, so cute. I love their bro moments. Not sure how to take Abraham's baby talk. They haven't been together that long, but things do move faster at the end of the world. I'm surprised Sasha wasn't freaked out. She seemed really into the idea. But this also makes me feel like one of them is going to be killed very soon. Because you've conditioned me, AMC. You've conditioned me. Moving on to Carol and Morgan, it was almost as if Carol was calling me out for saying she might be acting overly dramatic last review when she asked Morgan, you think I'm being dramatic? So I apologize, Carol. Morgan showed once again when he believes he's right, he will force you to do what he wants no matter how much he has to badger you or force you into doing it. Carol facing off against the savior that was stalking her. One, he's like the goddamn Energizer Bunny. He just did not give up. Number two, they did an excellent job showing how messed up Carol is and how horrible she feels about herself when she started laughing while he was shooting her limbs. She was so happy at the thought of it all just ending. And the what the fuck look on the savior's face was perfect when he asks if she thinks she's suffered enough and she responds, no, probably not. How would you respond to someone that is laughing while you torture them and saying that they deserve more? Probably the same way. What the hell is wrong with you? And then Morgan killed him, which puts me more at ease that he will do what is necessary if given no other choice. Not sure why someone being willing to murder another person puts me at ease, but I try not to look too closely at the things I say. Finally, before going into dislikes of this episode, let's talk about finally meeting Negan. I cannot express how hard I laughed when Carl was giving a speech in the fucking woods, and then they were ambushed. My god, is this going to become a running gag? Shut your trap when you are going through the woods or out in the open and you're trying to get to another territory and you know there's enemies out there. Just shh, shh. Everyone's getting muzzled from now on. That's, that's going to be in the group thing. Whenever you leave, you have to be muzzled because you can't be trusted either. Otherwise, you just, 
they can't be trusted. And then the whole setup at the end, just like the elaborate trap was terrifying. The actors played it brilliantly, like I said before. They all looked scared out of their minds. Negan's speech didn't hit as hard as I thought it would, but it might have been the language adjustment that's messing a little bit in my head. But I think otherwise, Jeffrey Dean Morgan was a great Negan. He was really menacing and he, he really nailed the role. He was a little small in the shoulders compared to how I imagined Negan, but I, eh, whatever. He, he did a great job. Some down ticks to this episode. It could have been that I was sick during the finale and delirious with fever, but the heartbeat noise in the beginning of the episode really started to grind on me. I just, it got to a point where I was like, okay, just stop, stop. I, I know what you're doing, just stop. We don't need it. We don't need it. Just play some music. And I'm not really sure why you would pack all your good men in one RV to take Maggie to Hilltop. Hey, saviors could attack. Nah, you'll be fine. They know. We know they're coming. So they probably won't come. Good luck, everybody else. Stop doing that. Stop taking your medic out of your community and stop putting all your best men in one area together on one mission outside of your base. And then lastly, the thing that pissed off I'm imagining most people. I don't know. I haven't been able to scour the internet yet. I was warned by a sub that they weren't going to show who died, and I denied it. I refuse to believe AMC would do such a thing. AMC? Fuck you, you motherfuckers. Really, AMC? You're not gonna show who was killed? Gimple's explanation for this? Well, this is the end of the story. The beginning of another story is when we see who was killed and how it affects the characters. Or, or hear me out, you could have not used this to get people to watch season 7 of The Walking Dead. Not showing who died was cheap. You know it was cheap. You know it was all about marketing. And it was bullshit. I want them to admit this was all about marketing. Even Chris Hardwick was defending it, saying it was good storytelling. No, it wasn't. You you were trying to trick us into still watching. And you did that quite a few times this season, and a lot of us were willing to just be like, ah, oh, whatever, blah, 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 we still love your show. And you just keep punching us in the face and then saying, no, it's good storytelling, it's good storytelling. You can tell good stories without doing bullshit things like this. There are plenty of examples of shows that can do that, and if you need to rely on cheap tricks and cliffhangers like this, maybe you need to have a sit down with your writers and discuss what you need to change about the show and the scripts to make it more captivating for the audience. And I don't know if this is they didn't want any blowback for killing a beloved character, so they were trying to hold off on it, but you wanna know what? You pissed a lot of people off with that cliffhanger, which means you probably won't have the guts to kill off a fan favorite in the premiere and piss even more people off. So now you're kind of stuck against a rock and a hard place. Either you're gonna kill off a, a main character in the beginning of the next season and you're gonna piss off tons of people and get them super angry or you're gonna kind of pussy out, which I know is a sexist term, apparently I'm not supposed to use that term, but, and you're gonna kill, let's say, Aaron, if you, Aaron's your favorite, I'm sorry, and you're gonna piss off more people because they're gonna be like, why did we have to wait to see that? W what was the point? No. And this just isn't from a comic reader's point of view because I never feel like the show has to match the comics, panel for panel, whatever. I love how much the show deviates from the comics because it creates this whole new universe. But it really bothers me when people say that this was good storytelling because it wasn't good storytelling. It was cheap and it was for marketing and you want people to be speculating about who was it, who died, all the way up until the next season so that you can just get more viewers. So don't say it's good storytelling. Say that it's good marketing and it's good for your advertising. Random thoughts, which are probably happier than the spiel I just went on. I think I have a fever again. Meeting people from the kingdom was awesome and this is probably what I'm looking most forward to next season. I'm happy Eugene wrote down the bullet recipe and gave it to Rick. Hopefully Negan doesn't search him and take it from him. And my favorite Negan line, do not make me kill the future serial killer. All right, besides the goof at the end, the rest of the episode was super solid. The acting was fantastic and it had great editing. The only thing that got in the way of great storytelling was what feels like a corporate greed. But what did you think about the finale? Favorite parts? Least favorite parts? Do you agree with Gimple that this was the best episode he's ever created in six years? I'm gonna go have some ice cream and go to bed. So you can write your thoughts below. You can go crazy saying this was the best ending to a season ever. It doesn't matter. Whatever you think is amazing, you're amazing. Have an amazing week and go outside and play if it's nice where you're at. Even if you're an adult, you can still play as an adult.